the Cornerman Radio. Um, Terrence Crawford. Um, I'm hearing some talks with Terrence Crawford versus Adrian Granados. Mike Cooper reported it yesterday since the Felix Diaz fight is stalling. They offered Felix Diaz 300000 They offered Molina 450 when they fought him last year in December. Now they're offering Felix Diaz 300000 Diaz don't want to take the 300000 So they brought up somebody else, and that's my bro, my um, homie, Adrian Granados. After an impressive um, fight with Adrian Broner, what, what's, your, what's your take on that, Adrian Granados and Terrence Crawford? And one thing I want to say before you talk, Box and I, it's pretty interesting to have this bout um, because Adrian Granados beat Amara Mom, and Amara Mom was the number one mandatory to fight for the WBC ch- um, championship. So Amer- um, Adrian Granados beat Amara Mom. He was supposed to get a title shot, you would think, right? Well, now he's he might get a title shot against Terrence Crawford for the WBC strap. And the great thing is it might be in Newark, New Jersey, where Shakur might be on there, the um, silver medal, and it's 15 minutes away from me. That's good. And I'm born in Nebraska, but my hometown is Philadelphia. So, this is all kudos for me, though. And my bro, you know, I'm going to root for my boy all day, Adrian Granados, Team Granados. But, yo, this is exciting for me. So, what's your take on it, um, Boxing Eye? Sounds like a good fight, man, for you. Um, well, me and you discussed privately when I told you, I said when when we found out Felix Diaz turned down the fight because Bob said that he outpriced himself, I said to you, I said, whoa, this means Granados is going to get a call. I got a feeling Granados is going to get, because who else is out there? You know what I mean? We were going one by one, like, damn, you know, and Granados is the perfect option. Everybody just seen him on Showtime. Showtime had pretty good rating. Um, he put up a fight. 52% of Twitter thought he won, so it was one of those fights that could have went either way. Um me, I thought it was a draw. You know, I really do want to watch it again. It was only a, a 10-round fight. We want to see Granados go 12, and he can go 12 against Terrence Crawford because Terrence Crawford's a champion, and we need them championship rounds. And, and, and it's win-win for Granados. Like we were saying, this dude, what was his biggest payday? Fifteen, twenty thousand before the phone fight, he can't, and he could be fighting two big, huge names in boxing back to back. Broner and Crawford, and, and his bank account in one year goes from this to that. You know what I'm? You feel me? Like you're talking about a fucking, you know what I'm saying? A bank, a bank account adjustment for our boy Granados that he deserves. So it's like he got to take the Crawford fight. You know what I'm saying? Treat the Broner fight as a as, as a win for life, and you know what I'm saying. You know them scratch off tickets, win for life, <laughs> for real. Because now he's got an opportunity. He wanted the opportunity at a world championship. All, all the tough decisions and tough fights he's been in. I think it only makes sense, man, for them to give. And, and like you said, after he beat the mom. You know, Mom was going to go fight Victor Posto for that WBC championship. He didn't even have to take the Granados fight, but he did, and Granados knocked him, you know, got up on the canvas, knocked him out. So we all thought Granados was going to be in line for a WBC championship. But you know how those fucking rankings are a joke. Next thing we know, Amir and Mom was back on top of the rankings ahead of Granados. But I think they're going to, the boxing gods are going to get it right. Because you know Crawford just need he, he needs to stay relevant at 140. He's waiting for Julius and Dongo and, and, and Ricky Burns winner. I think they want to get all four belts if they can get it in one shot. So yeah, and, and in the meantime, while they're waiting for that, there's no better opponent than Granados. Of course, we all think Crawford's going you know win that fight. I mean, 
Granados is thinking that too, you know. But if he goes in there and gives it his all, who, who knows what can happen. Maybe he can give Terrence Crawford the toughest night of his life. Or maybe Terrence Crawford is just so fucking good, he can make Granados look like Floyd made Diego Corrales look. Chico, you never know what's going to happen, man. So it'll be interesting to see how Crawford does against Granados. Because we've seen what Broner did to him. And people were calling for that Broner Crawford fight. So it's an A-plus fight to me, um, you know, for, for the situation. So I'm I'm so surprised that 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 it, you said it first. You you said Adrian Granados can fight him May twentieth, and you were right about that. You know what I mean? You said it first. Um, this was we did a one forty tournament, and this was my winners winners after everybody facing each other. This was my winners, Adrian Granados versus Crawford. Right? I'm so surprised after, you know, on the record, I thought I thought my boy won the fight with the Adrian um Adrian Brona and Adrian Granados fight. I thought he pulled it off by by no by that. um a slighter edge. But if you gave him a draw I wouldn't I wouldn't have been upset either. Yeah, I wasn't same, even scoring but, it, um, I wasn't scoring it either. I wasn't scoring it. I was just watching it as a fan, and then I'm like, it's in Cincinnati. Uh, you know, I'm like, this one probably going to go to Broner. I got. I think it's a draw in my head. You know, like one of them type of fights. I'm like, what the fuck? Why can't we get two more rounds to get a clear winner? Shit. Yeah, it's shit interesting is, how. That 10-round shit is fuck. Can I say it? That 10-round shit was fucking whack, yo. <laughs> so, yeah, you know it was like, but the thing, the yeah. thing about the whole thing is, they made it Brona hometown, right? They took that advantage. You know, Brona is a star. He's gonna have what's to say, what's the thing. They changed the um, fight weight in one week, the week of the fight. They changed it. They said if you're gonna y'all a fight at 147 or no fight at all. Yeah, you know I'm saying. We don't even know if um, Granado's got extra money for that. You know what I'm saying? Like they they fuck with him got... with the weight situation. Yeah. Brona, at, then during the fight, Brona clinched him the entire fight. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, yeah. You know uh, what I mean? Can I say something? Can I say something? No, hold up. No, are... the, the crazy thing is, well, one my one point I'm bringing this up for they clinch, Broner clinched Adrian Granados the entire fight. You know what I'm saying? They they Granados wanted a twelve round fight. Broner wanted it a ten round bout. I guess maybe he might got tired easy, Broner. I don't know why he didn't want a twelve round fight. Even if and he's a hot celebrity boxer right now. I I haven't seen a celebrity boxer like Bro in the caliber fighting a ten round fight. But okay, they did that, and I'm like, everybody thought Brona was going to drop Granados. They didn't drop him. Everybody said Granados has a chin problem. Well, we seen Granados stood up the whole ten rounds. He didn't get dropped once at all. The fight could have been better if it wasn't so much clinching. And my point of bringing up the clinching is I don't want to hear shit from the boxing fans when Kell Brook does it to their fucking, fucking champion, they Earl Spence, their favorite guy in boxing right now. I don't want to hear shit. <laughs> I don't want to hear shit. Because when they did it with, uh, with Granados, I don't see a lot of people talking about it. He clinched nah, the people, entire fight. This fight could have been even better without the clinching and holding so much. Yeah, that referee. I just was don't want to hear home, shit. No home. more complaints. If Calbrook does it, Calbrook does it for twelve rounds and wins the fight. I don't want to hear shit from nobody. Yeah, yeah, no, I feel you. Take you that loss back, like a bro, man. This is home. This is boxing. You gonna get if you go into someone's backyard. You expect, you know what I'm saying? If you go, if, if I go fight you in your backyard, there's gonna be some disadvantages for me. The people against me, 
who knows? You know what I'm saying? One of your boys might tick me off you when I'm beating you up and give you another chance. That, that's basically what this fucking referee was doing. It was terrible. But I'm telling you this, I really think if he goes and fights Crawford and deals with them, Crawford's going to make the 140 weight, right? Crawford's going to be more professional on that level. I think Craw- the way Crawford fights, he don't fight like Broner, like that elbow in the face and shit. And he's going to give you, <clears throat> there going to be no fucking bullshit. And I think he'll get, and he'll get more money fighting Crawford, actually, because he got 250 for fighting Broner. If they offered Diaz 300, they know Granados a little bit name. If Granados wants to take 350, maybe they'll get you know, 400. But at least he won't have to deal with the bullshit politics, I don't think, with Crawford. You know what I'm saying? And he ain't going into Omaha. He'll be going into uh, uh, New Jersey. So it'll be new. Yeah. So I think he'll get a better shake, a fair shake. But, um, yeah, I hear what you're saying, man. That fight, a lot, too many. It was just, it was basically, um, it was basically like whatever happens, you know, this is Broner. Like, it was all Broner, bro. That shit is crazy, man. How you going to change? Like, you know what I'm saying? Uh, imagine if Broner didn't have to make, imagine if he had to make that weight going into them later. We don't know what would have happened. If Broner had to make the 142-pound weight, his ass might have gassed out, bro. Because there's a lot of times, trust me, in my amateur boxing career, I was a lazy dude, bro. And, and, and sometimes trainers would be like, at tournaments, my dad would be pissed. Like, I'd have to lose, like, four pounds in an hour with bags on. Yo, that shit, I'd be dead. Like, and imagine being a pro. If he really had to lose the weight, what would have happened? Granados might have been able to grind him down. But since he didn't have to lose that weight, Broner did have a good ninth and tenth round. He did. Did you get? I gave Broner like the ninth. I think he. That's how he edged it. Cause he just had. You know, he was able to save a little more in the tank by not having to lose that weight, man. You know. It, it but that's. Strategic, but I bro. scored it at six four five. I gave him the ninth, tenth, um, yeah. the fifth round, and and I think the eighth round. But every other rounds, yeah. I thought Granados edged it. You know what I mean? Broner yeah, had like his rounds. little highlight moments, but Granados was giving him the work the all the other round with each rounds. So, but yeah. it's good. I'm happy for my my boy to have get a title a shot or be in the conversation for a title shot.